You're listening to the Aggie Up podcast. I'm Isaac Traxler. I uh, thought I'd just record the, a quick little podcast here. Um, it's Utah State uh, BYU week. So um, just a little bit about kind of the um, – uh, kind of all the all the talk about Jordan Love and different things. The offense, obviously, is kind of the hot topic, um, and I think for good good reason. And I don't think um, I don't think it's a it's it's anybody's fault. You know, I don't want to throw anybody under the bus or anything uh, because none of us could have seen this coming as far as uh, the way Jordan Love's played or uh, anything like that, uh, or the way the offense has performed. Uh, it's it's hard to um, it's hard to predict. It was it would have been hard to predict that coming into the season. So um, I don't think it's anybody's fault. I don't think it's Jordan Love's fault or the coach's fault. But at this point in the season, going into the BYU game, uh, just like they say, when you've got a, a rookie quarterback or a freshman quarterback, a new quarterback, you get your in, your quarterback injured. What do they always say? They always say. Simplify the offense, make it easy, call plays that, uh, that really make it easy for the quarterback. And I think more than anything, uh, the, the offense needs to uh, call plays. The offense needs to uh, be simplified maybe a little bit. I don't know. Um, you know that being said, I think uh, one of the keys against BYU is definitely going to be running the ball on the edge and, and – uh, into the outside with uh, with Brighton Warren, I think it'll be really important to um, to establish the running the running game, and, uh, and that'll open up a lot of uh, passes for for Love. Uh, but I don't think the receivers are good enough, or the or the uh, offensive line is good enough just to uh, to drop back and throw deep uh, very often. So whether it's a jet sweep, whether it's running to the outside, whether it's screens. Um, whatever the case may be, um, I think it'll be really important this week to, uh, to simplify things more than simplifying things, just do things to, uh, to make it easy for the quarterback, make it easy for the offensive line, make it easy for the wide receivers and really play to their strengths. I mean, I don't, I don't think, um, you know, guys like, uh, Savon Scarver and, uh, and Devin Tompkins have really proven that they're, um, I guess, how should I say it, uh, you know, reliable, uh, you know, number one wide receivers, uh, or have, have sh- they haven't shown that they can make contested catches. They haven't shown that they um, are ready to step up and, and be a bigger part of the offense. That being said, what they can do is you can get the ball to them on a screen. You can get the ball in their hands on a a fly sweep or a jet sweep or a a end around or a reverse or or whatever the case may be, a shovel pass. There's got to be a way to get the ball in their hand and let them do what they have proven to be able to do, which is run the ball, uh, break tackles, uh, get yards after after the catch, get yards, and because really both of them have, have proven, along with Jordan Nathan for that matter, they've proven that they can um, be successful. They, they've proven that they can get yards. They've proven you know their speed, uh, their their ability with their ball in their hands is undeniable. So. I think it's going to be really important to get the ball, find ways to get the ball in your playmaker's hands. Um, and I, I include that Jalen Warren in that. I include Bright with that. Um, you know, I would love it if, uh, if the Aggies came out on Saturday uh, with some different formations, some different plays out of the same formations and different things to, uh, to kind of catch BYU off guard. That would be perfect. That would be great. Um, I really think the, uh, the Aggies can kind of add some wrinkles to, uh, to their offense, uh, whether that's simplifying it, whether that's new plays, whether that's just finding ways to get the ball in your playmaker's hands. Uh, I think that's going to be the key to the game. So 
Thanks for listening. Uh, Hit us up on the, uh, the the Twitter account for Aggie Up Podcast, just at Aggie Up on Twitter, and let us know what you think, what's going to be the key to beating BYU on Saturday. Thanks for listening.